Hello everyone, welcome back again to On How Channel. My name is Anas, I'm working for you. So if you have any questions or any video request, make sure to drop them below in a comment or check out my Instagram right here below me. I do reply to each comment. If you are wondering why is that, because simply I'm working for you. And in this video, I will show you how to add the background image to your Shopify store. Now I'm not talking actually about the picture for the banner. I'm talking about background for the whole Shopify store. For example, as you can see, this is the video for the banner by the way if you are interested in how to make this banner right here without any apps or anything like that with your own standalone code make sure to check out my channel i did show how to create this and what i'm talking about here in this video is the background right here for the whole shopify store so the whole background if you want to add a single picture to it and if you are wondering why because you might think that they will not look good however it does because there is some actually some ideas that you can implement for example if you do sell mattresses and so on, uh, there is a cool idea. You can add the pattern background to the Shopify store. If you need slightly in a light color, uh, that will not affect the visibility of the text and so on. So that will look really good and the picture and the picture will actually fit your niche for the Shopify store. And for now, Shopify does not allow you to do that. If you access the customized tool and you want to change the background of the Shopify store, you can only change the color. You cannot set a picture or any image you uploaded to your Shopify store, then set it for the background. Actually, you cannot do that. However, you are watching on how channel. In this video, I will show you how to set the background picture for your Shopify store. If you do like this banner right here, as I said, make sure to check out my channel. I'd make a video on how to do that, as well as the order tracking page. This is completely standalone again, without using any apps. You can add the order tracking page to your Shopify store, as well as the categories right here, which each one with the subcategory as well as products for each subcategory. And not just that, for example, if we did scroll down right here, this you see this variance for the products, which is the colors and so on. I did show you how to add these as well and the discount price as you can see here so I did show all of these without using any paid apps or anything like that if you are interested in those as I said make sure to check out my channel but for now let's just get to it and show you how to add image to the background of your Shopify store so let's just close the store right now and access the Shopify dashboard so the first thing we need obviously is the background picture because as I said we will add the background picture to the Shopify store and currently I don't think I have a picture that will be suited for the background this one for example will not look good on the background so I need a picture that will look really good on the background so let's just do that let's just access Google search engine which is our friend and we will search for a picture and as I said the best type of pictures that actually suit this purpose is the pattern background so I'm going to search for example for background pattern uh, PNG for example so we can make sure we got the picture a pattern picture that will look really good for example these ones right here uh, will look good on the background for the Shopify store and this is as I said based on what your Shopify store sells or the niche for your Shopify store and personally I do like this one let's just access the website so we can get the full size because this is just like a thumbnail and so on and there is a lot of here so I'm not sure how this will look actually, so I'm gonna try it anyway. Uh, I'm guessing you already know what picture you want to set to the background. In my case, I'm not. I'm just doing demonstration here. So let me download this. Let me click on free download. If it's actually a real free download, I'm not sure. And here it is. So we, get, we got the picture now. And let just upload it to the Shopify store. So this, this picture does not want to upload it says processing error even though if you are trying to access the picture it's not working properly so i'm not sure what's the issue here let's just go for another another background from google images let's just try this one right here okay let's try this one let's just save the picture uh, background pattern and let's just get back to shopify and let's upload it again okay here it is we got the picture now let's just check it out here it is so we got the picture let's just try this picture as i said i'm not sure if it will work or not uh, anyway, I guess you already have the picture that you want to set to the background and right now the next thing we're going to do is We need to head over to the team editor So click on online store from here and after that click on the three dots on the left of the customize button And after that click on edit code right here and after you did access the team editor or the code editor Sorry scroll down and you access after that the assets folder right here simply click on it and you should see a bunch of uh, CSS files right here and access the base.css or team.css so I'm not sure which team you are using anyway so if you couldn't find the base.css 
access the team.css and vice versa. So let's just access the base.css and you should see a bunch of code in here. After that, scroll all the way down to the bottom of the page. Let me drag this down. So at the bottom of the file right here, make sure you access a new line right here and scroll down to the description box and click on a link. You will find it under the name of a code. And after that, it will send you to this page right here where you can find this code. So just copy this code. Let's just right click. Oops, let's just select it again and right click and copy. Let's just do that again, just a habit anyway. So let's just get back to the base.css and paste it at the end of the file right here. Make sure you do access a new line as I said. So let's just paste in the code in here. Right now we need to change the URL for the picture. As you can see it says here cdn.shopify.com. CDN stands for Content Delivery Network which is the network they use to deliver uh, elements and pictures and files to the Shopify store. So we need to change this URL with the pic with the URL for the picture. So let's just get back to the files right here. Um, I need to exit from this actually. So let's just get back to the files and content from here. Files again. And let's just copy the link for the picture that we did upload which is the picture that we want as a background. So let's just copy the link from here. Simply click on it and the link will be copied. And let's just get back again to the team editor or the code editor, sorry. And let's just click on edit code. And here we are at the base.css. So let's just scroll down to access the, make sure actually to click on save because I already did. Uh, anyway, so let's just select the URL from here. Just between the codes right here, make sure you do not select anything else. And let's just paste in the link for the picture. So let's just paste it in here and let's just remove uh, the things after the .png or .jpeg or whatever the extension is. This is extension for uh, web pictures. So let's just uh, remove all the code in here and let's just click on save. And right now, let's just get back to our Shopify store and to check if it's actually working or not. And here we go. As you can see, uh, this is the background, the new background for our Shopify store. And you don't have to worry about the picture not fitting the website or whatsoever. The picture will automatically keep repeating to match the size of the Shopify store. Whatever if you are accessing the Shopify store from the mobile or desktop, it will be automatically resized and fitted to fit the screen. As you can see, it fits the screen really good as you can see. So let's just right click and check out the mobile as well and see if it's working. I'm selecting the iPhone 12 Pro, so I'm going to keep it as that and let's just reload the page. As you can see, it's working just fine even on the mobile and there is actually some options you can add in here uh, it depends on what you want but i guess each one wants something different so if you all want to add some other effects in background so on just drop me a comment i would recommend you to the line of code and you need to edit to this part right here but for now that's how you add the background image to the shopify store and as i said in the beginning of the video i'm working for you so if you have any questions or any other quest Make sure to drop them below in the comment or check out my Instagram right here below me. Otherwise, I think my job is done for this video. So thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.